Hey, Brian here with Rival Acres. Uh, today we will be building a uh, like a drag brooder box, I guess you'd call it. Our, uh, we have a brood of chicks that are ready to come and be outside because they're stinking up our mudroom and the brooder that they're in inside. So in typical fashion of uh, you know how I do things here on the farm, I'm just going to use some of the uh, salvage materials that I got for my work. I'm fortunate enough to where I can get like pallets like these from work for free. Um, lumber prices being what they are today, I'm gonna take them because you know I don't have a bunch of money to be spending on these little projects we gotta do around the farm. So it's nice that we can take those apart and use them and utilize the wood that they'd be throwing away anyway. So today I'm gonna be building a brooder box, brooder drag box, uh, out of just some salvage materials that I have and stuff we have laying around the farm. I'm not going to film doing all these pallets. It's just going to be a lot of uh, the same thing over and over again. I'll start filming again once I start using all the materials that I salvaged. later now uh, which will be the second day that I started working on this um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get the hinges on and I got a, some uh, galvanized uh, roof sheeting we're gonna put on there and then at the uh, more towards towards the front we're gonna put some more wire mesh on top so we can get some sunlight in from the top so they get a little light in from the top as opposed to only having it open on Ideally, we would have salvaged all of our material off the farm for our boxes, but uh, we didn't really have anything that was a good viable roof sheeting. So I found this galvanized sheeting at Lowe's. It's 18 bucks for a 12 foot sheet. Cheapest thing I found. Um, wanted to get plastic, but it was a little pricey for what we wanted to do and how many we wanted to do because I want to make several of these. So one sheet will do one box so I got a couple of sheets so that way we have a little stocked up for when we decide to do another box so cut these to length uh, get these somewhat fitted up on there I gotta make a cross member for my last part where uh, this mesh will go and then everything will be screwed on or tacked on and we'll put some uh, hats on the front maybe a pole to hold it up when we got the top up and it'll be done Always gotta have the music. Phone ringing? My phone ringing? No, no, I turned it off so I can talk to the camera. So we got these hasps, these locking hasps that twist when they're closed. 
so that way we had a problem with our shawl before if we didn't have a carabiner in our hasp um, the roof actually blew off and broke off in the back so we wanted to have something actually locked down this time and we can still put a carabiner through it if we really want to so that's why we want that option instead So to move this thing around, we decided to go with some eye bolts. We got some big carabiners and we're gonna use like an old uh, lifting strap or some rope. And we're gonna put an eye bolt in each corner. We can clip the carabiner on it, move it whichever way we wanna move it. That way if it's in the yard and we need to move it, you know, to the right instead of forward, we can just unclip one side, clip it to the other side, move it that way. No way we're not like mountain four straps on this thing. Have to